guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the finale. I really cannot believe that we are here of Bakuman. I mean, there, there's so much to say about this. I, I really thought this was probably going to take me a little bit longer because I think at first I was going to do it strictly as like two, and then the person who requested this was like, could you do it in three? And then between times where there were days or weeks where I was too tired to record or something else came up and such. Because it's funny enough, like, by the time Patreons will see this, you know, 12 hours prior, <laughs> it's Friday. And I had to do this on a Friday because today was the only day that I was able to do this. Same thing with the Princess Connect thing. I had been very busy and back and so I didn't really have time to film almost, like every fucking thing. So probably by the time you guys see this, I should be at this baby shower. I'm not 100% sure on that yet, but I do know that I'm going somewhere tomorrow. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with season three, episode 24, or what, 74? And three, two, one, go. Also, today has been, or really the last, like, almost 24 hours has been a wild ride. Okay, so you know how when you play gotcha games and you have a best boy, best girl, best whoever. Okay, so yes, I've been talking about my best girl for, like, the longest time on this. Because, of course, she plays Azuki. Okay, so my best girl in this game got a new card, right? And... Currently, as of right now, I've done a total of 50, well, five pulls, but I pulled like 56 times and such. Still has not come home. And I am trying to do everything in my power so that she can come home. Because I have from now until the 13th, aka Japan time, to get her. If I don't get her, she just disappears forever and she doesn't come back until next year. I don't want to have to wait the whole damn year sobbing in my room or just sobbing at work or thinking like, DJ, why the fuck didn't you do something on this day? You could have got her. So I am praying to God that she comes home. I, I just, I need this card. When it comes to my best girl, I need every card of her and such. I just, I need her to come home. That's all. But at the same time, I'm ready to see how this show concludes if I'm thinking like, talking married and such or if they're gonna flash forward to the future or something i'm just uh also i'm hungry too but i can't eat till later Hmm? 
It has to. It's so fucking cute. I can't. Exactly, because anything can happen between then and now. for a ring. So basically like another arc within it.
It is, unfortunately. Mm. Yeah, I get that, but that's what they want, though. And I mean, it's damned if you do, damned if you don't. Get him, Cody. So then, would it be a total of 18 now, instead of just... Just gotta believe in them. You, you sure?
And it's like, yeah, with all that hard work you've done. Right? Okay. I did ask thought he was going to rip it.
Angie. There goes the dog again. Cody! Cody! My dog. My dog. My dog. What the fuck? My dog. Oh my god, this dog. Cody! Okay. This? We're not even done yet. I'm just. I'm just <laughs> I want to I wanna skip this ending and then just go ahead and watch the final episode. Hopefully we get to see the wedding because that's what all I want to fucking say right now. Oh, but it was so good. I'm so happy. I'm going to cry so bad right now. <laughs> like, oh my god. Oh, I'm just so happy. Everything is going as planned. Like, oh, that ending was perfect. I mean, how I love the fact that the kids is like, oh my god, maybe they'll find more angels. And we're like, <laughs> well, that's your reference to that. But like, ooh, cause guy, how long has it been since I caught up with that show? What was the last episode? Uh, I don't even, 13, 12 or 13 for freaking Platinum Zen, but. <laughs> <laughs> letters all the fan letters that are supporting them as a couple oh my god it's just like oh it's too much i'm so fucking scared to watch this last episode because after this that's it and then I watch my new show tomorrow after I come back and watch, watch Dress Up and then that and then before Pretty Cure comes out. But I mean, oh, this was so good. This was just so, so good. And I'm scared about what's going to happen in this last episode because, of course, anything can happen in the last final 24 episode. I mean, 24 episodes. 24 minutes for the final episode. But I am really excited for it and such. But, like, oh, like... Please let it end good so that I can have a good final thoughts and stuff. I don't want no bad things because whew, I'm just scared. I'm so fucking scared and I'm all the emotions right now. <laughs> but go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for the final episode. Okay, final episode in three, two, one, go. I feel like I'm gonna cry by the end of the like when we finish this probably like I'm gonna cry for like a good minute after I'm done and then I'm gonna watch the other show that I gotta watch and then I'm probably gonna be like <laughs> but I am happy that I watched this first because I was like if I had a watched what's his face I think the whole entire time for an hour I'd have been like I need to <laughs> want to see how this ends <laughs> because I know myself and especially when you get really, really into an anime and you're watching so many and you're like, damn, okay, should I watch this first, that first? And then when you watch something else and you're like, fuck, I should have watched this! <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm scared. I'm excited. I'm nervous. Ugh, it's too much.
And I'm hungry too. No oh, shit, I'm about to cry. Oh my god.
dying. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, he's so pretty.
but damn, what the fuck is this Harry Potter shit? <laughs> well, no, because, you know, Harry Potter gives and get expelled because of points. Mm-hmm. That's so fucking sweet.
It was perfect. Perfect. That's it.
I hate the fact that this is over now. Like, uh. That's so fucking cute. Oh my god. Like, you think they would show a fucking ceremony, but no, it's okay. Honestly, this was really, really good. I cannot believe I'm about to say this, but holy shit, like, this might be number one for me. Like, I, I, mm. Oh, God, because comparing the works of the three different series that I have seen of this Death Note and, and you know, Platinum Zen, I, I really, because everybody who's known me knows how much I fucking love the shit out of Death Note. And because of the fact is, like, I knew of both this and Platinum Zen, like, years ago, but I never really got into them both. And then it was just so funny how they both came into my lap, like, out of nowhere. And sometimes, you know, when it's time, it's the right time that someone's just, like, they give you a push and they're like, hey, I want you to watch this. So I'm number one, I'm really, really happy and glad that someone, you know, the person who requested this did request this show because this was honestly on my queue for the longest time and I said I was going to watch it, but I was like, I need a day or a little while where I am free and I'm able to sit down on this because I knew it was a long ass show and such. And so it just, you know. It happened, and I'm glad it happened. And like I said, I wish we could have gotten to see more, but it makes you wonder, like, manga-wise, where they stopped and where it possibly, like, continued if we got, like, a better ending than this in the manga. So maybe I have to read the manga, of course. But if I had to now kind of choose of where I would write these three <laughs> projects by these same people, I mean, honestly, this and Death Note are still number one. Like... They're they're both fucking good. I can really see myself rewatching this um, several times because with Death Note, even so many years later, that is one series that I can sit and rewatch over and over and over again. And unfortunately, Platinum said you you down at that bottom because you know if you've seen the anime and such, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. But then if you've like read the last chapter or you've seen spoilers of the last chapter. You can see why a lot of people for that series um, are very disappointed in that. So I will say, like, I think someone actually said it in, like, a video as I watched. Basically them saying that Platinum Zen is, like, the weaker version of the series that those two have made together. And who knows if, like, they may do something even together. I don't even know if they're still working together or, like, they're doing their kind of separate things and such. But, I mean, this was still good. I love the cast of this. I will miss the series so much. I I really kind of wish this got a dubs because if it got a dub, we could have had I could have had a really nice Blu-ray copy of it now. But no, unfortunately, the world doesn't work that way unless like you know someone really good would be like, oh hey, we want to take the rights for this and such. But to have like I think several seiyus in the show that I had known about like all together, like goddamn. And the fact that you gave me a happy fucking ending because I was like going into last week, I was fucking nervous about these last two episodes and such. But the fact that they kissed, they kissed, I'm like oh my god, that was so good. And the fact that it was so fucking sweet. The fact that it like literally began where these two started their journey at and ended where these two started their journey was just so fucking sweet. It was just, it, it was right. It felt right and it felt good. This this was a masterpiece. Like, once again, this is Death Note. Fucking masterpieces. I think there will never be something like these two or any of the other animes or mangas that I have seen or read um, that are masterpieces. There will be no nothing ever like them again. Maybe something that's very similar to them in, like, certain ass points, but... Um, literally nothing like this ever again and I you know I mean at first when I <laughs> when I first started watching this show I was like 75 fucking episodes this is a long fucking time this gonna take me forever and the fact is that we got it done like a year I mean I feel like the Monogatari series took me like a whole year I think as well like almost a year maybe a half a year and a half like so, so maybe like a year and six months 
Um, but the fact that this took a whole, almost like a whole year was really good. But I think, you know, we, <laughs> I'm probably going to say this tomorrow. I don't know yet because I'm still debating. I kind of need, like, as of right now, I want to do a lot of more, like, 24 episodes such. And then eventually, because taking on, as much as I love doing this, taking on, like, something that is 100 plus episodes or even 20, let no, 30 plus, let's say that. It is a journey. And a journey will take six months to a year to finish. And so you got to think about everything else in the heartbeat. Like, as I, I love this so fucking much. Like, every little fucking detail. The ins and outs of these two stories. But I think, well, for the guy stories and such. I think after, after this, I think now I'm going to take a break on... 100 plus or even 75 plus episodes because like I said it was good fucking good but sometimes like I think I am now uh, like not really exhausted from it but like I feel like if I do another one I am going to like uh. <laughs> so thank god that the next the current show I'm doing and the next show I'm doing is like a total of 24 episodes each even though with one of the shows that I'm about to continue we're like already at the halfway point and then the other one when I start tomorrow will be starting it and such but I will miss this once again so fucking much I, I really want to get something to kind of come on right because of course as I said you can't really see it over there because my entertainment system is like center is right here you can't see it but yeah where my hand is right over here right over here um I think this is like what two three weeks ago yeah but deaf no finally um but it was at a cheap behind pie so I was like oh that's a steal um, but yeah, I think for this, I'm really gonna have to, like, buy something for this, like, because this was just too damn good. And when it's something that I really, really get an emotional connection with this, which I did, not only because, you know, favorite sayings and shit, but just everything else that happened with it, of course, I gotta, like, celebrate it. So, if I do find something from this, which will probably be the entire manga series, which I know Amazon has the full collection which is like two hundred dollars but i might have to wait a minute because i gotta pay shit <laughs> um i could just start <laughs> buying the manga separately and then going from there but who knows if there are like companies that are still making copies of them now because i don't really know i just have to look but yes like other than that guys i don't even want to end this video oh god other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the entirety of the Bakuman series. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Wednesday for the following show after Bakuman. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!